Scariest things that happen to school buses. Imagine you were a parent of a child in a school and you just learned that a guy with a knife had taken over your child's school bus. In this video, let's take a look at the 10 scariest things that happened on school buses. These stories are shocking, especially the high speed school bus chase. When the driver of his school bus passed out behind the wheel, brave middle schooler Jeremy Woodschick took control of the bus. The driver started waving his arms and struggled to breathe. And as the bus swerved, he passed out. The seventh grader took the wheel and was able to steer the bus to safety, protecting the remaining 15 students and others on the road. He removed the keys from the ignition as the bus came to a stop on the side of the road. The police arrived at the site after receiving a call about the school bus swerving across the street to discover Jeremy had stopped the bus close to the school they were headed for. The bus driver actually had a heart condition. Even when others gathered to applaud Jeremy as a hero, he claimed that he was simply responding on instinct since everything occurred so rapidly. In Baltimore, a man attempted to take over a school bus. The man said that a bottle was thrown from the bus and struck his car. According to many witnesses, the man then attempted to stop the school bus by pounding on the doors and attempting to board. When the driver refused to open the door, the man became furious and jumped upon the bus's hood as it began to move away while continuing to yell at it to open. The kid on the bus who recorded the video did it using a cell phone. Later, Laverne Doran was taken into prison without a problem and subsequently released. It's unknown if a bottle actually caused any harm to his car. After a school bus rolled in Harris County, rumors that a student was trapped inside the bus during the event soon surfaced. But it wasn't the case, as the school district stated. The bus driver and 14 students out of the 50 were sent to the hospital for treatment of injuries, none of which were life-threatening. However, the rollover footage is pretty dramatic. The bus driver can be seen swerving into a roadside ditch after dodging an approaching car. Undoubtedly, the students, most of whom were picked up by their parents following the incident, were terrified. While everyone involved must have been terrified, this could have been worse. In this 2005 video, a school bus driver can be heard instructing the students inside to face forward. Unfortunately, some of the boys weren't paying attention. One of the boys in the rear shouts out, Watch your mouth! As the bus driver instructs the boy up front to turn around while using foul language. From then, the situation worsens. The bus driver first calls a deputy to Cleveland Circle, but he didn't wait for the deputy to arrive. Instead, he rushes towards the back of the bus when one of the boys curses at him. The child is then seen being manhandled by the man as he pushes him into a seat and then down the aisle while another boy yells, Get off him! The driver returns to the front of the bus. However, the same boy confronts the driver once more and pushes him. There was no more information available on the incident's consequences. But regardless of whether the boys provoked the driver or not, this was not the appropriate response. In Jacksonville, Nicholas Miller, then 22 years old, took over a bus filled with 11 elementary school students. Miller first approached a woman and demanded a car, but stopped after the woman when she did not have one to give and spotted the school bus that had stopped nearby. The woman then called the police to report the incident. As shown in the video, they started pursuing the school bus when they located it. The cell phone footage, which was captured by Kelsey Eggers, shows the bus being pursued along a two-lane road by roughly a dozen police cars, all of which had flashing lights. After a roughly 10-mile chase, the police were finally successful in getting the suspect to stop the bus, at which point they were able to apprehend him. Miller appeared to be experiencing paranoia or psychological trauma. He said he had hijacked the bus because he was being pursued by someone. Although no one on the bus was hurt, the 20 minutes must have been frightening for everyone. Although several of the bus drivers on our list were frightening, this one undoubtedly went too far. Frustrated by the behavior of this 13-year-old student, the bus driver stomped on the brakes yanked open the door, threw the student's backpack outside, and kicked him off for misbehaving. The boy then had 10 blocks to get home. 
A student recorded this incident on his phone. It depicts the confrontation between the boy and the bus driver. Furthermore, it shows children screaming, you can't do that, in support of the boy. The bus drivers defended himself by showing a different video that he had recorded. The boy assaulted a child across the aisle before threatening the bus driver. In addition, as the driver got off the bus, another 13-year-old hit him in the head with his hockey bag, breaking his glasses. Parents were both outraged and supportive of the incident. Some believed the bus driver had done what was needed to be done, while others said there was no reason for ejecting a student from the bus. He was pulled off the division's route by Cunningham Transport Limited, but he wasn't fired along with adding a bus monitor to this route. The two boys had their bus privileges revoked for a week. So, here's a good example for always using your seatbelt. It turned out that the turn this Indianapolis bus driver, Jack Thomas, 73 years old, was about to make was too wild to make. He also didn't have his seatbelt on. Fortunately, there were no children on the bus at the time, because Thomas swiftly loses control of the big vehicle and tries to cling to the wheel for dear life as he tumbles out of his seat. The bus smashes through a fence, hits some trees, and hits a play structure. Finally, the bus crashes into a garage as the driver lets go of the wheel and tumbles to the ground below. Surprisingly, no one was hurt in the accident, although Thomas received a ticket for failing to wear a seatbelt. In North Carolina, not one, but two bus engines caught fire in the course of a single month. Footage of one of these fires is shown here. Both of the F-65 Thomas built buses in question used CAT 3126 engines. Following an investigation, Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools issued a statement claiming that the two fires were started by wiring components in the engine compartment. The quick-thinking bus driver was able to safely remove every child off the bus, according to the person who uploaded this video. One Vacaville Unified School District family took matters into their own hands and filed a lawsuit when their special needs child was mistreated. When the bus driver, Kim Klopson, pulled up outside of Browns Valley Elementary, she yanked the girl out of her seat. In the footage, Klopson can be seen taunting the kid while sneering over her. When the girl, who is crying and screaming, slips into the bus aisle, Klopson grabs her by her sweater, pulls her towards her, and scolds her. The girl's parents were shocked by what they had witnessed on the footage. According to Klopson, she intervened when the 8-year-old was reportedly blocking the aisle and preventing other students from passing. The footage is horrifying to see at this point, as the lady drags the child by her sweater before tossing her down the aisle and then onto a seat. She pulls the girl's clothes to lift her as she screams and continues to argue with her. And Klopson keeps making fun of her. Klopson assures the people outside that she didn't hurt the child after getting her off the bus. Furthermore, it appears that Klopson had harmed children before. In the footage, she can be seen saying, We did this with another little guy that didn't want to ride the bus to the paraeducator, and she was later fired. Before we get to number one, please give the video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it if you want to see more videos like this. A bus driver, Janet Pitts, in Dallas County was supposed to transport children securely to their middle school, but she failed to do so. Pitts' bus had Xavier on it, a bipolar student with mental disabilities, and he started acting up as she was driving. A monitor would often be present on the bus to assist the driver in managing the students. However, there was no monitor present on this particular day in January, so Xavier was unrestricted to wander the bus and hurl insults at the driver and other passengers. Pitts, who was attempting to focus on driving, made a horrible attempt to manage the issue with Xavier. She threatened to beat the boy and claimed she would stop the bus to get him. And ultimately, she did stop the bus. But what happened after that was terrible. A young boy who was in the back of the bus was choked by Pitts. She returned to her seat and could be heard talking about choking the kid. The event was never reported to Xavier's family. They didn't learn until News 8 notified them. The same week as the event, Xavier's mother, Claudia Nava, claimed that her kid had scratches. Pitts was fired, but the board decided to restore her following an appeal. 
But once the family learned what had happened with Xavier, she submitted her resignation. Think this footage was crazy? Check out our next video. Be warned, it's not for the faint of heart.